All right, so I've received numerous requests to compare the flagship Ryzen 9 7950X 3D and the gaming champion Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. The 7950X 3D has 16 cores and two CCDs as opposed to the 7800X 3D's eight cores on a single CCD. The 7950X 3D is the most premium AMD CPU on the market today. But does bigger always mean better? Let's find out. Basically, AMD processors are a collection of chiplets with specific functions that work together like pieces of a puzzle to form a more powerful and efficient processor. Each chiplet contributes its capabilities to enhance the overall performance and functionality of the processor. This architecture allows for more flexibility in designing and manufacturing their processors by making it more modular instead of it being a single die. In gaming, having one CCD in AMD CPUs can often deliver better performance than having dual CCDs because of lower latency between the cores within the same chiplet and optimized thread scheduling and software efficiency. So for this test, I've got it on my X670E Aorus Extreme. I'm running 64 gigs of SK Hynix A die. I've got my Aorus 10K Gen 5 M2 NVMe here, and then I'm using a 4090 for graphics. Got a 1200 watt power supply, and I'm using a Corsair IQ H115i Elite Capellix here for cooling. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, to set the ceiling for each CPU, I took the systems into factory in 1080 low in offline mode and chose no AI. As you can see here, the 7800X3D is in the lead by somewhere around 10% in terms of average and 1% FPS. But because it's only eight cores and draws less power, when all the other components are equal, the CPU FPS per 10 watts is much higher for the 7800X3D at 75 versus 49 for the 7950X3D. So here's the footage from the tests and here are the graphics settings I used. After these runs, I took the systems out to streets in offline mode to set a baseline and then I took them online to demonstrate real world performance as well as the hardware difference when unconstrained. So the streets offline test starts at the 333 timestamp. The streets online test starts at the 509 timestamp. Feel free to skip ahead to see the results and the footage. Basically, it boils down to about 10% or less of a performance difference in Tarkov, with the 7800X3D being the better gaming chip, most likely due to less chiplet latency and the increased cache per core. So I hope this video helps you see how the two chips stack up against each other in Tarkov. If you want to see how either one of these chips performs online in real raids, make sure to check my playlist links in the video description below for the 7950X3D and the 7800X3D. I also have links for my Escape from Tarkov playlist. I have over 1600 videos on my channel now, so there's a ton of content. If you can't find what you want to see, Go ahead and leave me a comment below and let me know your request. I've been keeping a list and I'll do my best to get around to it as soon as I can. The list of video requests is getting pretty long though, especially recently. So I've added a way to request a priority video through a Purology Pro YouTube channel membership. But I will talk about that probably in the next video when I make the announcement. For now it's up, but I haven't really advertised it yet. So that's what I got for this one. I hope it was helpful, informative, or entertaining in some way. I'm incredibly thankful for you viewing my video, commenting, or even liking the video. Each one is a small step toward my dream of creating content full time. So from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to say thank you. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. I don't take you spending your time here lightly, and I'm committed to providing the best info out there for Tarkov players. It's been a profound experience to 
be able to unite in shared passions and make connections amidst our diversities. I've been able to connect with a lot of people from different backgrounds by doing these videos, and it's just been an amazing experience, and I hope to continue it going forward. This is where I'll drop off and let the rest of the footage play. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.